Hello, 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 and welcome. Here we are, another day, another week, and we are uh, working on another journal. Uh, working on a new one. Can't, you know, can't stop. <laughs> but thank you all for coming along today. I really appreciate it. I know it's been more reveal than craft, but you know, if you do what you have to do. So we finished the multicolored journal. We finished the botanical trifold cover ordeal. So I'm going to keep going with my botan my wildflower botanical journals. I created all those pages, put all those things together. And so really right now it's working on covers and um, adding more pages. So I thought I'd bring you along for the front cover of this one. Um, last couple, I've just done the covers off the camera and um, worked on the inside. Now there's a lot I want to do to the inside of this one, but I don't know how much of it will be camera based. Um, it might be if I get enough prep work and I can like sort of mass make a bunch of things to put in here, I'll totally do that. Um, we have a large card to put in this one. We have some fold over pieces. A lot of things that we're taking scraps and um, uh, junk mail for them. Like things that are, um, you know, we have things like this that we need to tone down like we did in the other one. Um, I've got my usual stuff. I've got scraps. But like I have where is it? pages where um, I had fold overs. What did I do with them? I thought I had them for this one. Oh no. I had some ideas for this one. I don't know where they all went. Um, but yeah, I had some pieces that I wanted to add and work on with these guys. And I don't know what I did with them. Things keep moving around. It's a problem. Um, but yeah, I had a few pieces that between the two that I wanted to put over the edges and stuff like that. So if things come up really cute and work out a certain way, I will definitely um, try to prep and show you guys. Um, but I keep rearranging between all the different car all the different journals. I deciding what goes where. So apparently, I must have put them in the other in the other journal. So we'll see. But I bring you along today and work on the cover. And as you, and I'll show you what I've already did to the cover. We took a white Walgreens um, pharmacy bag, uh, which is just a little bit bigger, but it had the length to it. So we made it a flap to cover it up um, because this is a blue and with orange accents. So you'll see, the, you know, a very a lot of orangey stuff. And so we're just going to go for it. So, and it is a new lighting setup and a new, um, it has a, a light. It has, you know, it enables ways to hold the camera. So we'll see. Um, it definitely feel like I have more control of where, so that's nice. Um, but is that canvas light? It's the compare it to say a gooseneck, which is what I had before. And it really was limited to where I could put it. Now this one has a gorgeous stand and, um, right now it's on a gorgeous stand, which I can, st I didn't take up any extra room because I could put my jars of, um, pens and pencils on the base. So, I mean, it's a huge base, very well weighted so that I don't have to worry about, um, it falling over, that is for sure. But, you know, I was like, oh no, it's going to eat up a bunch of my desk space. And no, I can get my, my, my two glass jars on, um, on the base. So I'm not really losing any space. So that's good. It is a little lower. So hopefully you guys can see things better. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I don't have about 30 days to check it out and see what it's doing. So I grabbed my blue snowy effect because I wanted something light. I didn't want to cover the white much. I did want to see it. But I knew I needed to also make sure that we had um, something to work on and work with. So we got a little blue on the white, white on the blue. We're just going to layer this up. And yes, it overlays and I'll trim them when it's all done because I want to make sure, like, I'm not cutting it too short. I fussed with this poor thing a lot. Um, huh. Yeah, I was going to put denim on the inside. And I kept trying to sew it. And because the bag isn't perfectly square... It was not, it was getting really bad. Oh my gosh, it was bad. I'll show you the inside in a moment. I had to give up on the whole, um, I had to give up on the whole denim idea. It was starting to feel a little dark, which wasn't super bad. See, there it is, it's really pretty. I didn't do the denim. At first it started to look, at first I thought it'd be okay. It'd be a nice contrast and it would be dark and then the pages would definitely stand out in contrast. Oops, gotta be careful there. Um, but then, I don't know, it just, I was having a hard time keeping it where I could cut it right and get the effect and see the orange and oh my god it was bad so I just gave up and then because I, I had already covered the outside and I didn't want to lose what I'd already done and so I just I matched the inside and the back and we have a slightly different front so it is what it is you do what you have to do right yeah just keep fixing it until you go well that'll work Whole point is it pages itself, but you have to have some kind of fun journal. Like you have to feel like there's something going on with the front. Okay, so yeah, there's that. So we do have a nice little lace tuck here, um, and I'm probably put a, a lace, same type of lace here as a belly band. But the front cover is really a nice large pocket, also. 
So, um, so I put the seven notch in there with this, and we're going to put a large um, junk mail um, tab journal card in here. So I do. I'm going I'm to do that. We're going to cover it up and do that. But in the meantime, besides this, which I think we're going to put here, I sort of want to pretty up this a little bit and maybe put a, a word or something here. Um, we have the fold over, and so there's a nice blue lace that I pulled from the back of my one of my blue Victor my blue Victorian kit. Um, it had some vertical pieces, so I just pulled out the graphics because so they didn't quite go, and just reprinted the page that I needed. So now I'm like, hmm. So I'm starting to work on a blue lace kit. Um, you will see this weekend um, a new and different. Um, you will find a different lace. Um, Oh, stuff, all kinds of stuff. I have a couple different pages of stuff. I scanned in. I mentioned it before that I was scanning that pile of stuff, and that is coming up this weekend. I will show you guys that off and a bunch of other fun stuff. So keep an eye on Sunday or Monday for that reveal. I don't know what day is going to come up. It just depends when I get everything done. But, yeah, so little by little, I'm creating some new – I've created two new sets, and I, I, was, I think I have a, th a third one coming in. Um, I don't know why I'm attached to the blue look right now, but I am. So – all right, so we got that, and we're using, actually, um, I, I sort of roughed up a um, edge of a, of a, we're going to slowly pull this apart and do this, and hopefully not lose what I want to do. I have these gorgeous blue, um, what do you want to call it? I don't think I'm making a belly band. I think I'm going to put it right back on top before I get going. Um, it's, a, it's from the, uh, it's from a, the edge of a Kleenex box. There we go. Good Lord. I don't know why that was so hard to talk about. And I've been dying to do stuff, but none of my Kleenex boxes are like, I have enough. They all have this big old, you know, bo uh, label over the cross of them more times than not. And it's really annoying. So there's very few edges where you can um, do anything with it. So this is going to be fun because I don't know. <laughs> can't really see what I'm doing. We're going to try to, we're going to try and get a general idea where the edge of this is going to go. And I can go back. Um, yeah, so I found that little blue strip, and I've been dying. It had tabs. I thought I was going to go over the, over a page, like a, like a belly band sleeve, but it the I was going to put it on the front cover, but the front cover is bigger than the, the this was. So I thought, oh, let's, let's find another way to do this. So how are all of you? How are we doing? Um, weather is still one of our biggest things. We've had two um, <laughs> rain days. But with California's idea of a snow snow day, I guess, uh, we had so much rain in a lot of areas around me um, that a lot of schools were closed um, for the safety of our staff members and our kids getting to and from school. Um, well, you know, we sometimes you know we still have a chunk of teachers that come in to our area, and our area is only there's only two ways in and out um, that are like two way high two lane highways, which are being widened, but you know, in the process of winter, it doesn't work. So anyway, we, uh, a couple weeks, what, a week, oh, we'll see, yeah, a week ago from the day I'm recording this, uh, it's about two weeks from the time you see this, um, we had massive flooding, um, we could not get in or out of Hollister, and so we, like, we realized what was going on, and so the schools shut down and said, no, 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 don't even bother, just stay put, we don't want you guys going around, we don't want you, we don't want you varying or anywhere, and so... Um, when Tuesday came around that following week, and we, you know, or Monday night, we realized that Tuesday could possibly be just as bad, and we still hadn't really dried out. Um, we shut down again. Now, what didn't rain as bad as we thought, so it was sort of a blessing, but you know, it was a precautionary tale. Of course, if we hadn't canceled school, the you know the staff would be stuck in the road again, and we don't have enough teachers as it is. So that was sort of interesting. So the girls have had, you know, these days off. So now they're trying to make it up for it. Last week they were changing schedules around and um when you have this you have a, you have your three you have three classes every other day to get all six in yet they kept we kept closing down on what we call a red day so her first three blocks or her first three classes kept getting postponed so they decided no 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 wait a minute we need to make up for that so they did some rearranging but oh it's been interesting so yeah wait yeah snow days our idea of a snow day has been something else so hopefully everybody's weather is holding out. I, I see some people who are working in their gardens, which today, which this is, um, I'm definitely ahead of schedule for you guys, but as was St. Patrick's Day and, um, we actually had some really warm, I got to 68 degrees and it's really pretty out. So by the time you see this, who knows what we'll be dealing with? I know there were some predictions of really, um, 
of some you know cold weather again and more rain. There was a potential of like down to 51 degrees again. And I think Tuesday and Wednesday of this week that we're that you will see this on. Uh, yeah, it was potentially going to be. Um, what's the word? Like 51, 54, and rain again. So what am I doing here? We go from warm tropical rain to freezing cold rain again. I'm like, oh, here we go. And we're not in the 40s, but still 51 degrees and potential rain is cold again. So, which is really weird as we're coming in. You know, right now it's we're coming this right now. It's the middle of March, but it's definitely it's definitely weird. So okay, so as you see, I am layering. I am adding blues, not adding too much white. I had these two in the background to give us some nice and light. So this is the center piece of what we're doing and there is a little bit of denim here I, I thought oh I'll bring the denim from the back to the front and well yeah, there's no denim on the inside so I don't know maybe I'll put a denim strip oh I think there's only one I think I might be able to put a den den denim strip on the inside with that one belly band but I think I'm just gonna do it on the outside it's just a lot of blue with tints of orange since it's a very blue kit um, with the orange flowers on it so I'll have to show you the pages here in a moment but yeah we're just I'm getting digitals done and finishing journals and definitely want to watch my reveal um my digital reveal on i think it's gonna be monday this was this is thursday so this was oh i'm ahead of the game or behind the game oh wait a minute what am i doing oh no so i take that back so i'm this is this video i'm actually behind i'm, I'm flipping it around being ahead of the game this is gonna be fun yeah no if you um watched monday's film then i take that back you now know uh, my digitals are on sale at 10% off and I have uh, journals and handmade items um, that are on sale for 15% right now. It's a birthday sale since it's my birthday month and we are coming around the corner to it. You, there's a total of 12 days of sales. So if you missed the, the video, I will connect it to the end of the video uh, where you play it here at the end of this one, just in case you missed it. Uh, you guys are pretty good at seeing my those videos for me, but you never know. Yeah, we know it happens, it gets missed. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what time I'm gonna air that one. Normally I do my reveals at six and it works well enough because if you don't see it that night, you do see it the next day, which is sort of nice. So I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll just leave it to that. But yeah, I'm on, I'm like, duh, I'm backwards right now. Um, we are on, things are on sale right now. Not every single thing, um, anything handmade from me is on sale. Um, I have a couple journals from, I have a fall journal, journal. I have the, uh, by the time you see this, I may or may not still have the um, multicolored journal or the botanical journal, and let's hope that by the time you see this on Thursday, if you didn't catch the sale, those, you know, that journal might, those journals might be gone. If you watch me make them, um, let's pray that they're gone. And then, um, I don't know out there. What else? Hmm. I have another one. I had something else. Oh, I had like the coffee sleeves and things like that that are still on sale. So definitely worth a peek. Um, and a majority of my I said, majority of my digitals are on sale also. Um, not every little thing. The little guys are not. The little one, two dollar items probably are not. Uh, simply because of the fees that it requires to run the stores, getting a little crazy even for a digital digital end. Jo joy of, it, of Etsy is the fact that I can sell world world round worldwide. And, um, oh, I don't know, they take care of all the stuff, but it's getting hard on the fees. I mean, it's $1.25. I sell things, I sell, sell something for, and I barely make 70 cents off that, which, you know, covers, you know, maybe the next three, sa next three digital sales. Like, you have to think about, I have to sell these little guys just to cover the fees for the big stuff. So, ay, ay, ay. Okay, stick. Mm. But as you see, I am getting some more of these lovely flowers that I got from Michaels with these guys in mind, with this whole, these, this whole set of, of digitals in mind. Um, when I was going to do the Wildflower Botanical Journals, these guys were definitely what I had in mind. I needed colorful flowers, which is in each one, so sort of like the signature of the journals, so you know they're all part of the same sort of kit, you know, same series here. That's not why they're not really staying. It's starting to bug me warm out here so it shouldn't be a problem but I can't really press down on like you would when it's paper to be able to like make sure so that's sort of a bummer what's well, sort of a bummer okay there we go like come on come on come on I'm thinking about adding some more here though I'm having a brain fart we'll see if I'm going to add more of the same light airy I did open these up too so that they weren't super like 
what's the word, standing up too much. I do want them laying down a little bit more than they came in the package. Come on. Oh, I don't think these, I did notice though, that's one thing, it's almost going to be the reverse. There's a point where your glue's even in the heat, you know, too warm and they have to go inside. Not that we're anywhere near that yet. Oh my gosh, nowhere near. But I did notice that these guys love the cold. Um, the sugar bottles with the um, fabric tack, they like the cold. Glitter glue? No, I put that inside the house. Right now, the glitter glue is super happy, doesn't mind. But, you know, so I'll make sure we're doing okay. I know I'm not as low. Yeah, I'm still the... Woohoo! All right. And then I have these um, flowers that I did. I did a two-tone spring butterflies, uh, where you have a small, that's where, you know, a small and a large. And if they're on paper, you would fold them and you would layer them. You would layer them up. Um, but I laminated some of them, and so I thought, well, that's sort of pretty. Why not? So I'm really annoyed with my cutting job. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I'm really annoyed with my cutting job. And I know it's clear. Like, I know you can't overly see it, but if you investigated close enough, I'd be, like, embarrassed, right? So we are going to simply, I want to add it up here and I can't decide. Yeah, I really do want it up there, but I want, I'm like, I feel like I need to keep adding stuff. Of course, that's nothing new. Add a little, I don't know if that will just blend it right in if I add it. See, if I do that, you don't see it as much where that's where this would really stand out better. So then if that's the case, and this white one, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I like it. Oh, yeah, I could do, what am I saying? I could do both. I'll do what I was going to originally do, and we're going to do this one. I don't have any more, I think, well, I don't know if I have more blue. Do I have more blue? No, I have two in purple. Mm. That's okay. We'll put them on the front. Oh, so what are we up to? So like I said, some of you I know are showing off gorgeous um, uh, gardens. Totally jealous. Mine are, <laughs> my yard is not there. My front yard needs so much work. Oh, my gosh. And then I know there's others who were still showing, you know, maybe some snow and that weird weather. Hopefully everybody's getting sort of a break. But what are we doing? Are we gardening? Are we? I mean, normally I'd be itching to garden right now. I would have my spring fever going pretty badly right now. Um, especially as we get closer to my birthday, I get I get antsy and I start wanting to, um, I do want to start, you know, what's the word, you know, planting and arranging and getting the weeds out of the way. I'm pulling weeds. I am pulling weeds, but my front yard needs a full rework, so I'm not do anything too crazy just enough to where I don't scare off the uh, landscapers <laughs> going um so there we go ladies and gentlemen now what my thought is to do a grommet here so that I can wrap something around like I've been doing to keep it closed because once you know we get to that point I'm sort of tempted just to do I go over and like do I go there and wrap it around just to do it now, I may do if I do I'm going to do it after the fact so I can hide the string so if I do, we'll use, it's perfect length too. Okay, so remind me guys, uh -huh. we're gonna use that I think as a binding. We're gonna go around the edge and we're gonna help hide the string for that. So that's a really simple, really pretty. I didn't go overly exaggerated, I don't think on this, um, but I wanted to use up some different stuff that I hadn't used in the past, like the, the cloth and, um, you know, not have a big, what's the word inside? Um, not a big, you know, covered, whatever, but we do have this. And my only thought is whether or not I cut this out or leave it. Now the goal is to have a tab on the card so you can see the tab right here, but we'll see. So I'm hoping, like we did it before, we were gonna put a really large card in there. I do have some more pieces that are going in here, but I have to get that reveal page done, the reveals done for you first. Once I get the reveals done at the new kit, then I can add those pieces to it. Yeah, so we have some stuff. This is the, pretty much it. We're gonna make some tags and tucks and um, goodies to this and hopefully get crafty enough with it. I'm really hoping to do enough of something to this to make it a little different. I'm at, I think 40 or 44 pages, um, once I add the rest in, but it's there and that, you know, it is going to bulge a little bit, but if we just have it here with a, with a thing, you can wrap it around and keep it, you know, stable. So here we go again, which I'm like doing the cover first and then the inside, but you know, we, it's nice because we can do the inside keep it out and then when we're absolutely positively ready we get to stick it back in so round to the corners I had the blue cut dye adding some other papers to this mix for once um or trying to at least I have some because I have some printed ones that we're going to add to this so I love though the um this because it's already blue and white isn't that great so I think I'm going to distress these pages a little bit in orange 
we're gonna we have some tucks and stuff we're gonna try to make you know belly bands and tucks where we can i need to add some lace to this front one i think because i have some paper blending issues and i hate to cut it down anymore but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep it pretty simple today. I don't have a full plan on anything else, um, except maybe making the covering the card up real quick. So that's the gist of this. I can't get that in there. Oh, there we go. You definitely need to white out and white down that large card, even though it's in blues. Ta-da! I think it's pretty. They got a nice blue backing or you know, everything orange kit coated. I might put another pocket on the back. I haven't decided yet. Depends how much I go inside, right? These are great, like, monthly journals. You know, they're about 40 something pages. They give you some room to maneuver, give you something to work with, but it's not overly, you know, bulky. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if people want hundreds of pages or whether they want, you know, sort of smaller themed. I think sometimes the smaller themed ones would be nice. I know it's a lot to, to sort of store, but I don't know. I'm like, hmm, it would be to their own, right? I want it to, let's see what else, I'm just making sure I'm not too floppy anywhere. Good. Okay. But loose enough where it's sort of fun, right? So how are we doing, guys? Are we liking the lighting? How are we doing? I guess comment, let me know how the lighting is going, how it looks, how it feels. And really, you know, I don't think it, it does let me maneuver a lot. Like, I can really change things and move things quite a bit, and it's great because I can really get down to where I want and have it done, so... All right, well, let's work on the card. Let's work on the card real quick and see how it does, and then I'll let you guys go. So we gotta make sure we don't forget that that is part of the. Now I had this string I was gonna use, but I don't know. It's very tealy compared to this, which again, it, that's that heavy. It's not heavy in in. Um, it's not heavy in weight, but maybe a little bit in color. It's tealy, but it does match beautifully with that. But there is some blue in there. There's some purple in there. There's some green in there. I don't think it's blue enough, though. I think we have very blue, and this is not quite it. So, okay. I will have to find something else. I really need to get sorry silk. I think that's what I'm coming down to. I need to get a thing of blue and pink and beige and cream and you know, off-white sorry silk to start sewing, so, sort of, you know, bunching these guys up because... Yeah. Don't think I could do two or three down here, and I'll debate on that whether I want, like, two peaches and a blue down here, maybe. We'll see how things go. And I still have this cover too. So yeah, but I'm loving it. I think that worked. I mean, I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. I played with this thing forever. And I love how it just sort of panned out. So we'll, we'll go with it, I think. All right, so then the goal was to take, again, this is all about using, you know, I had this from the, the flowers, right? Has a punch in it, could corner it to make it a full tag. But instead, I think we're just going to coat it. I want to cover, you know, the back enough to where you can write on it, and then we're going to put blue, and we're going to do scraps, and we're going to, you know, collage the front and continue to decorate it up. Now, in the end, though, I don't think it's that big of a card. I know we'll put a tab on it. Is it a big enough card? Uh, with a tab, you could see it. If I do the tab just right, it should stay where we can see the tab and pull it out. So, okay. You always worry. Like, did I put enough there? Did I get it going? I did this the other day. I sort of went glue stick down the middle and did the the glitter stuff on the edges all at the same time, so as to not go backwards. I guess. Yeah, I had a. Mm, I had. I know better. I never forgot about this. The um, I had a pin in this, but it was a um, not a stainless steel one. Stainless steel is pretty, but it apparently or silver or whatever it is, but it doesn't. You know, it doesn't stay strong for long. So I had put a. Pin, a sewing pin in there that you use to sort of, you know, bind, you know, put two pieces of fabric together with. And it rested pretty quickly. I was like, oh man, okay. So it's sort of a bummer. Um, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't bend on me, but it also didn't hold out. So I don't know. I could do this one or two ways. I'm trying to see. I have to cut it, so I don't know how much I really want to offset it. Nope, we're going to. We're going to put it down and we're going to cover it. We're just going to completely cover it and then um, I will trim all the way around. That's what we're going to do. Keep it simple. But I'm uh, using up. No, let's not use those. Those are fabric scissors. That'd be bad. All right. So let's see what else. So what are you up to? How's the weather? Are we feeling like spring? Uh, by the time this airs, we are officially in spring. We uh, This is airing on Thursday the 23rd, I think. And so, um, yeah, like, it will be officially spring by then. 
Daily Savings is doing okay. I'm adjusting, I guess. We haven't gone too crazy. It's like not like we're overly any one way. Like, oh my God, we're, you know, it's spring. I can't do it. No. Or it's, you know, spring for it. I just had to keep adjusting some of the lights in the house. I think you will adjusting a few lights, but we had ones in the backyard that, in the front yard that I thought I had set. I thought I did a good job. And then I was like, what happened here? So I'm going back and recornering these guys a little bit. Um, a little tighter than they were. I think that'll help keep it moving in and out. Problem is, it is cutting up against something. is not as super, oops, as easy as it looks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, but I thank you all for joining me and continuing to follow me. I know I'm going to have to change up my um, how-tos here soon. I've been showing you guys at 10 o'clock. I don't know if that's a good time or not. If you guys are truly watching it at a different time of the day, please tell me. Please tell me what time. I know I'm Pacific Standard Time. So, um, and now with daily savings, I should, you know, we're all, most of us are all now in the same time length. Even though, I mean, like, we're not even farther apart or, or farther behind. But let me know. Tell me what time zone you're in. And when you typically watch me, even though I come up at, you know, 10 o'clock for crafting chats in the morning and I come up at normally about six o'clock in the evening for digital reveals, am I hitting the right mark? Is it great? Cause it's not so bombarded. Is this, do I come up, you know, do I even come up in your notifications at a time and that makes sense? Um, I'm curious. I would like to know. I am very curious to whether or not I am, um, you know, doing okay here. Am I in the right time frame? Do I need to be sooner? Do I need to be earlier? Later? Um, it's doing okay. At first I thought it was doing really good, but I've, st I've stalled out. Like, it's just the same people, and I love you all, and I do not take any of you for granted, but I'm not getting a whole lot of new. People, new people say they're following me, or new people are coming on, but it's really hard to see it in the numbers, and I'm like, okay, come on, guys. You know, this is not, I'm not new. I've been working on this for some time. Did I just do one and not the other? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, and I'm trying to keep two to three videos a week. I know it's not daily. I wish it was. I wish I could. I don't have enough fresh ideas to do that and still do digitals and run the kids and, you know, but I have to do those two to three videos a week. You know, it's, you know, two crafts and chats and a digital and a reveal of some sort, whether I'm revealing a journal or revealing a digital so that when I do reveal the digitals, there's some play that I'm not completely off YouTube's radar and totally a miss. Oh, it's getting hard. My brother said something the other day. I was like, oh, I'm just going to get on YouTube or blah, blah, blah. And, oh, for my daughter and her artwork. And I was like, oh, it's not that easy. It's a fad, you know. We're, we're YouTube got a huge boost due to COVID because, well, what else are we going to do? Like, we're on, everything was video. Everything was, you know, how else are you going to know what to do? Or how, how are you going to learn unless there was a YouTube video? And, you know, the crafting. How else are we going to share our love if we didn't do it on YouTube? Now we're so bombarded that I don't know, maybe we're not. Maybe there's too much going on, but I don't have a store, I don't have a shop, you know, I could do just the shop, but you have to, then you have to pay them to advertise, and they already take enough money, so, hmm, you know, I'm like, hmm, no, I don't want to do that. So anyway, yes, I need to know, how are you guys doing, and am I okay, are you happy, because I'm not maybe up at a time that isn't bombarded, or would you like me to come up with everybody else so you don't forget about me? What, how are you, how are you feeling about all of it? Like, what should we be doing here? Um, because it's nice to get the feedback when you can. It's fine where I am, and you're like, yeah, no, you're great. You know, I appreciate that it works for you guys, and I guess I will continue on and just keep hoping that other people find me too. So right now, you know, six o'clock seems to work pretty well, especially for reveals. It's in the evening, late for some, or they lay down, and, you know, maybe that's when they do their shopping, and they do their work and then um you know during dinner or after dinner the after dinner you know delight there going on okay so there's the front this is to help right on the back which I mean, it's still a little thin you can see um the scan code but i'm like you know if i thought it really bugged me i may put another piece of uh paper on top and to keep it very writable but it is so you can write on it it's the front that i'm worried about we want to make this really pretty Let's get my hole punched for that. All right. So I don't know exactly how we're going to decorate this one up. I just know that we need to do scraps and pretties. And I'll have to see what um, actual... Oh, what's the word? Um, just see what flowers I have left from the blue side. 
I have to see what, um, I know I made some flor florals for the blue end of the kit and put it in a mini kit, in the mini uh, file folder kit. So I'm going to have to go find that, I think, and do some printing. Oh, there we have that. I have a little bit of this left, which will be put on the top. But that's it yet. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to waste much. Like I said, I'm going to try to, um, if we do any ephemera for this, we're going to be really specific. I'm going to lay it out like you just saw with the cover. And we're going to just lay it out and be done with it. Check in, say hi, how we're all doing. And then, you know, put it together. And then I'll show it to you when it's done and put it up for the sh at the shop. Uh, keep it pretty to the point um, with a lot of the journals and things that are coming up. Until I get to my purple one where it's just mine, it's for me. Um, and we may just go through a series of that where I'm just keeping YouTube going. But, you know, it's going to be where when I need you to see it. Like journal reveals and digitals, you know, I, I'm still in your feed. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are working on the next kit. This will be the blue and orange. Um, I, don't know if I don't remember. I have to look it up and see which one of those are. It's my main flower through this thing. So, figure out what flower that was. And maybe like the pink rose kit. We will um, we will mark this orange dahlia or whatever it may be um, as the title of this lovely journal. But it is the main feed. It is the main gorgeous flower through a lot of this kit, just to have, you know, blue and orange is complimentary, and I figured, why not? Isn't that pretty? I do love it, though. It is a really pretty, really pretty flower. So, there we go. An orange, I'm going to call it a dahlia. I know it's not, but I'll have, it'll have a proper name on the YouTube, in the YouTube video for what blue and orange journal this will be. And I'll bring you along when we get something going that is worthy of your time. So thank you all so much for watching, liking, loving, commenting, hitting the notifications. Keep watching so that you are aware of my sales and my digitals and when things are up in my shop um, so that you can visit, like, and love, and hopefully um, get what you need for your next inspiration. So love you all. Talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.